What up, what up, what up, yeah. What's up, man? Up, man? Let's go. Let's get it, man. Told her I was popular, that I drive a Lambo. Got a lot of money, I'm sexy, no home. Oh, whoa. What is the Termigator doing out on the field at practice? Oh, I gotta hurry up and get to Tanya's house so I can see this game. He's been acting crazy all practice, running in circles <laughs> and diving. No one knows what's wrong with him. Oh, yeah, I know what's wrong with him. Wanna paint my Lamborghini pink? Well, I got that itching powder for ya. What's going on everybody? It's the man of the hour, QJB, aka Cleveland. I got this NCAA Football 13 Road to Glory for ya. Featuring the Termigator, Swamp Monster, London Bridges. And as you see at the beginning, Neil Bridges got his brother back by putting itching powder in his uniform. Cause we all know he was pretty mad at London after he got his Lamborghini painted pink. Now if you didn't see those episodes, check out my last two or three videos and you can be caught up on the story that quick. So here we are in Florida, number 16, taking on number eight LSU. And I get nowhere on that punt return. But you see we got the early lead, 13 to nothing. I go for this interception. I hit Y, but London didn't even jump on that. I guess that itching powder is still affecting him. But we were playing a great game so far. We're up over LSU in the second quarter. And we're stopping them pretty good right here. You see the running back gets taken down in the backfield. Second and 12. I'm going for the blitz and I tip the ball. Get a beautiful swap right there. Beautiful defensive play. Great awareness by London to get his hand up and swat that one down. So third and 12. I'm going in with the sack. The quarterback didn't know what hit him. Came around that left side and smashed him. And look, we're celebrating getting that emotion popping at home in Florida. So they got a first and ten right here. Coming down to the end of the second quarter, I get another tackle. That was my fault. That was in my zone. He should have never caught that, but we come up and make the tackle on him so he doesn't go anywhere else. So they need to score before halftime. 152 to go. They run in the running back draw. And I come up and make a nice hit on the running back. Got a big hit off of that one. You know London is known for his big hits. Late hits. Getting to the quarterbacks, receivers, and running backs. Because he doesn't care. They got a fourth and one and they're going for it right here. Like I said, they need to score and he goes nowhere. Turnover on downs. Beautiful play. And look at all those gators. So they still have time. We ended up giving it back. 30 seconds. I go in and smash the quarterback again. Forcing the incomplete pass. Third and 10. They got 30 seconds to get to this end zone. He's dropping back. Throwing it over to their left. All right. It's almost picked off. So they end up having to punt right here. I'm back there to get the return. I want to try to take this to the house. 20 seconds left before the half. And I got some room. I break a tackle, but then they gang tackle me right there. So here we are in the second half, third quarter. Nice out route thrown by the LSU quarterback. They got a first and 10. It's still 13 to nothing over him, though. And he's looking for someone here and goes nowhere. He's sacked in the backfield. Second and long. Running back draw. And we take him down. So they got a third and ten. He's dropping back again looking for something. He throws it to my side. And we come up and stop him before he gets the first down. I was playing off of the receiver. I wanted him to throw that actually. So it's fourth and inches and it's turnover on downs once again. And look at the Termigator getting it in at home. 
The crowd loves that. Third quarter, two minutes to go. They're still getting taken down in the backfield. We're stopping LSU, running, passing, whatever they're trying to do. They get a nice screen right here. And he finally gets some positive yardage. I have to come up and make that tackle. They had great blocking over there on that screen play. So here they are, second and 11. He's throwing it into the flats, and the running back goes nowhere. Another loss on the play. Third and 15, coming down to the end of the third, making it fourth and long. But they have to go for it here. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. And he's taken down. Another turnover on downs. The Florida defense is looking great. And we're getting the running back. Only getting two yards right there. Second and eight. They're still running, trying to get out of this hole they're in. He makes it a third and five. They get some breathing room. He's going to drop back to pass. And he has a man over to the left and getting the first down. Great play by them. Nice poise by that quarterback. Second and ten. And he's trying to take off. Taken down for a two-yard loss. And look, he's getting sacked way back in the backfield. Making it fourth and 24. They had no choice but to punt right here. And I'm going to try to take it to the house, of course. Take it to the house. I break a tackle, and I have nowhere to go. Great coverage by LSU. So a minute 45. We're still up. I lay a nice hit on that guy. Looks like we're going to get out of here soon with a dab -dab. All we got to do is hold on and we get an interception. And he's taking that one all the way. So we get a touchdown, people. Making it 20 to nothing. 50 seconds for LSU. This one's pretty much over. We're just playing soft defense. He's throwing it deep. And they get a man over there. It's calling a timeout. And look, I come out of the game. I've accidentally simmed through that. And they ended up scoring a touchdown. So they're going for the point after touchdown. Extra point. And we really don't care if they get this because you know we already won. But I'm just going to try to block it for good measure. So we're going to walk out of here with a die bow. They're kicking the onside and we get it. And we're just going to kneel down after that. So stay tuned for more. The Florida Gators are moving up in the ranks. And as always, folks. That's nasty. Peace.